Tom, it's great to have you here. We don't have a ton of time, so I'd like to get through this as, as much as we can with you. Um, let's start with oil. Why is energy your top pick for the rest of the year? I think the sector has idiosyncratic uh, virtues. You know, it's a really tight supply market for oil because of both regulation and capital starvation. And then now I think some uncertainty around the Delta variant is causing production to be slower. And then I think there's going to be a very big demand swing, something you haven't seen in almost a decade. So energy stocks which have trailed oil could have a 30% or more second half return. So it's our favorite sector. All right. So how do you think that measures up against the market as a whole going into the back half of the year? I think you just raised your price targets to catch up with where we are now. Uh, yeah. So strong markets stay strong. That's why we think the S&P can end the year at 4,600 or higher. Um, it's probably you know, 4,300 now. But uh, strong markets in the first half have to digest. That's why we think July will end up being a choppy month as, you know, as much as a 5% drawdown. Wow. The FANG trade is something that you see leading in July, you say, into year end. We've been talking about this kind of back and forth over the past hour or so. And when we talked to Mark Mahaney about it, he said, look, this can do well when we start talking about a normalized growth world, but not one of real cyclical strength. So is that, is that kind of where you're uh, coming yeah. from as well? Yes. I mean, part of it is a, a little calibration. You know, um, the FANG are, are really some of the best companies in America with some of the best growth rates. And we upgraded FANG from an underweight to overweight in early June because the outperformance of financials versus FANG was nearly something you haven't seen in 12 years. So it was a stretched rubber band. And as I think about the second half, as rates are kind of undershooting, you know, and Apple, Amazon are up less than 7% year to date, but the S&P could finish the year up 23. We just think there's a huge catch-up trade in, in FANG in the second half. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.